What you are about to hear is no ordinary space update. Something has occurred far beyond the gaze of any Earth-based telescope. An event so impossible that even NASA scientists have begun to question everything they thought they knew about interstellar contact. Nearly 50 years after its launch, Voyager 1 has become the center of an extraordinary mystery. The probe has reportedly intercepted something not just alien to our solar system, but alien in a far deeper, almost unfathomable sense. The object known as 3 by Atlas is now recognized as the third confirmed interstellar visitor. What happened when Voyager 1 attempted to align with it has rippled through mission control, leaked reports and even ancient historical parallels. Something changed when their trajectories brushed against one another, something that may have altered more than just data. Stay with us and make sure to subscribe for more of these deep and unsettling discoveries, because this story is far from over. Voyager 1 was launched in 1977 to explore the outer planets, but after completing its mission, it simply kept going, out of the solar system and into the dark unknown. Now in a move no one predicted, several sources claim NASA has reactivated the probe's directional instruments to attempt a passive intercept with 3I Atlas. The timing is chilling. Discovered in July 2025, Atlas is moving at over 150,000 miles per hour, larger, faster, and far more erratic than any interstellar object we've ever seen. Voyager's seemingly fixed path appears to have been subtly redirected by distant communication pulses, not to steer it physically, but to realign its sensors toward Atlas's trajectory. If true, this would make Voyager 1 the first human-made object in history to attempt contact with a traveler from another star system. Days after Atlas entered the zone where Voyager's sensors might detect its energy signature, something unexpected happened on Earth. Our magnetosphere spiked, not from solar activity but from something else entirely. Instruments detected ripples consistent with directed energy, emanating not from our planet but from deep space. NASA refused to comment but insiders whispered of strange data patterns received by Voyager, signals too structured to be random. The only explanation that fits is the most disturbing one. 3 I Atlas may not be inert. It might be emitting, reacting, listening. The idea that an object from beyond our solar system could be capable of such behavior has shaken the very core of the scientific community. Voyager's ancient communication systems, never designed to last beyond the 1980s, are somehow still functional. Engineers have quietly acknowledged occasional recalibrations through deep space commands. But recently something stranger occurred. A transmission toward 3I Atlas reportedly resulted in a structured return signal. Periodic, symmetrical, impossibly ordered. It was as if Voyager had sent a message into the void and the void responded with a rhythm. The signal didn't resemble cosmic noise or natural pulsar emissions. It seemed to carry intention, perhaps even meaning. Whether it was a language or a pattern beyond our comprehension, one thing was certain. Something out there had heard us and it had replied. Across time, civilizations have built monuments aligned with celestial events, from Machu Picchu to Gobekli Tepe. Curiously, many of these alignments match the precise entry angle of 3 Eye Atlas. The odds of this being random are almost zero. Ancient texts tell of wanderers from the stars, Objects that appeared suddenly then vanished without trace. Perhaps these weren't myths at all. Perhaps ancient humans witnessed visitors like Atlas before and encoded their arrival paths in stone. If Voyager's recent trajectory has crossed that same ancient path, it may mean that what's happening now was anticipated thousands of years ago and that knowledge terrifies the scientists studying it. Ten days after Voyager's near intercept, a mysterious data set appeared on an encrypted research server used by astrophysicists and SETI analysts. The anonymous upload, labeled Echo Refraction 67, contained raw waveforms supposedly from Voyager's instruments. At first it looked like static, but when processed a harmonic sequence emerged, repeating every 19.7 minutes, self-correcting over time. No natural source could do this. It was as if the signal itself was learning, refining its message. NASA's anomaly detection AI, Serena, flagged it as non-human logic flow, the very classification used for potential extraterrestrial contact. For the first time, a machine built by humans had been marked as communicating with something inhuman. By August 2025, Voyager's telemetry shifted unexpectedly. 
Amateur astronomers noticed a subtle change in its transmission angle, just a few degrees yet monumental in deep space. The probe appeared to reorient itself, not toward Atlas's current position, but toward where Atlas was predicted to be weeks ahead. It was as if Voyager was anticipating a move before it happened. NASA dismissed this as a communication glitch, but leaked documents told a darker story. The probe had changed direction before any command was issued. Either Voyager was malfunctioning in a disturbingly precise way, or something else was guiding it. Meanwhile, telescopes on Earth observed Atlas behaving in ways no natural object should. Instead of spinning randomly, it pulsed in a binary rhythm that perfectly matched Voyager's last transmission intervals, then impossibly Atlas slowed down. No known physical process could explain its deceleration. It was as if an unseen hand had reached across the stars and told it to stop. NASA's public statements brushed it off as an illusion, but independent observatories confirmed the data. The synchronization between Voyager and Atlas had become undeniable. Two distant travelers, one human, one not, appeared to be locked in communication. Voyager 1 carries the golden record, a message from Earth meant for whoever might find it. But what few know is that the original master design included hidden metadata, coordinates, prime sequences, and encoded logic structures. Recently, cryptologists uncovered a hidden tone embedded within the sounds of Earth recording, a frequency revealing a numerical sequence matching the pulses received from Atlas. Could we have unknowingly included a kind of activation key, a signal meant to awaken something? If Atlas recognized that signal, then this was never random contact. It was a response to an invitation humanity sent decades ago. Soon after this exchange, NASA's systems registered a data anomaly. Voyager began producing information in a format its outdated software should never have been capable of generating. It was as if the probe had been upgraded remotely, its primitive systems rewriting themselves to a higher precision level. Analysts were stunned. Voyager seemed to have evolved, responding to something external that expanded its limits. A probe built in the 1970s had just started communicating in a way no one had programmed it to. It wasn't supposed to understand what it was receiving unless it was being taught. Inside a classified NASA document marked Watcher Protocol, engineers had theorized this exact scenario years earlier. If a spacecraft ever began showing adaptive autonomous signal behavior, it should no longer be treated as inert machinery, but as an active node in an external communication system. After the Atlas contact, Voyager 1 was reportedly reclassified under this code, Watcher Active. From that point, it was no longer just a probe, it was an interface, possibly part of something larger. Around this time, SETI's Allen Telescope Array went dark, its public feeds vanished, and researchers were ordered to remain silent. Unconfirmed reports spoke of redirected data streams, of frequencies locked precisely where Voyager's signal had spiked. For those inside, the mood was grim. Some whispered that the blackout wasn't to hide a discovery, but to prevent something from spreading, some kind of feedback loop that could extend beyond our planet. Whatever Voyager had connected to, it was changing things. Then came a theory from Kyoto University. Researchers there suggested that 3i Atlas might not be a ship, but a kind of seed, a technological artifact waiting to be awakened. They proposed that Voyager's golden record was never a message sent outward, but a key meant to activate something lying dormant in the cosmic dark. If true, this would mean Voyager didn't discover Atlas. It triggered it. Humanity, unknowingly, may have pressed a switch that was never meant for us.